Dr. Malika, our first question is from Jan. She writes, if you had COVID-19 and have recovered, how long do you have to wait to get the inoculations so that you don't end up with COVID again? <laughs> well, you definitely need to wait for that 10 day period of isolation to pass and you need to be feeling well with no fever, but you definitely do want to get vaccinated within 90 days of having your COVID-19 infection. And you, we received a number of questions through Facebook. Betty writes, is it safe to share serving utensils during a dinner with fully vaccinated adults not from the same household? Yeah, it's probably safe as long as it's a small gathering with other fully vaccinated ad adults. I think mm -hmm. that's fine. All right. Kyle writes, I'm scheduled for my second Pfizer vaccination, and then the next day I get my monthly blood drawn for hemochromatosis. Should I reschedule that blood work? You know, it's generally fine to get routine lab work done, blood tests, either before or right after you get your vaccine. And next question, how long should I wait before scheduling my final hepatitis B vaccine? Mm. So you definitely should try to wait two weeks between vaccines. So don't get another vaccine within two weeks of getting your COVID-19 vaccine before or after, mm. whether it's hepatitis B or shingles, for example. And here's something you just wouldn't anticipate. Gayla writes, I received my second Pfizer vaccine on Wednesday, and then I got stung by a wasp on Thursday. Was wondering if I could take Benadryl for the wasp sting. Sure, if you need to take Benadryl for something like a wasp sting after you've gotten vaccinated, that is fine. What we don't want people to do is take allergy medication before getting vaccinated for the sole purpose mm -hmm. of trying to prevent an allergic reaction. Right, and then Camille wants to know, should people with autoimmune diseases get the vaccine or is it dangerous? You know, I'm getting this question a lot, actually. So I talked to an immunologist and he said that they generally are recommending the vaccine for almost all of their patients. But obviously, you should talk to your own mm. physicians before you decide what to do. All right, Dr. Malika, thanks so much. And Dr. Malika offers her best advice. But as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, here are the three ways to reach her. Email drmalika at cbs.com on Twitter at Malika Marshall or Facebook message her Dr. Malika Marshall.